Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a home inspection business website. The platform that I recommend you use is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix Website Builder is because it is beginner friendly, easy to use, and you can also get started for completely free. So you're going to go onto Wix.com, then from there you can tap on Get Started. After selecting Get Started, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can either choose to log in using your email address, Google account, or Facebook account. Once you have entered the information, you'll be redirected to your Wix dashboard. On your Wix dashboard, I want you to tap on Create New Site in the top right-hand corner. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you're going to tap on Bill on the Wix editor. After you have done that, you have two options. You could tap on Start Chat and you could use the Wix AI, but I would recommend that you tap on Set Up Without Chat. After doing that, all you will need to do is simply type in Home Inspection on the search bar right here. So you can type it in. So let's do that real quick. And you can see it right here, Home Inspection Service, you're going to tap on that. Then you're going to tap on Continue, and you will be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you'll be able to enter in your business name. So you can type in your business name right here. So I'm just going to type in Home, for example, 6. So let me do that. Then from here, you could put in your business address. Then you're going to tap on Continue and you can enter in your working hours. So let's say for example, our business will be open from Monday to Friday and it will be open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can set that up right here. After doing that, you will tap on continue once more. And these are some sample services that Wix recommends for home inspection. So you can see them right here. You can select whichever one of these would relate to your services. If none of these services relate, you can tap on create new service at the bottom of the page and you could enter the service or services that your business offers. I'll just be selecting a few for example sake. So let's say for example, I were to select these two, then we'll tap on continue. After selecting continue, you can enter in your staff member's name and email address. Then select continue once more. And will you be offering virtual sessions? Also, will you be accepting payments online? If you are, you can select them. Then you'll tap on continue. Then select continue to dashboard. After selecting continue to dashboard, you will be redirected to your website dashboard. And there are a few things that I want you to pay attention to. First, go over to the left-hand menu option, hover over catalog, then select booking services. After doing that, you will see the services that you have added and you're going to tap on edit. Then you could change the image. So you could change the cover image if you want. You can also change the name and you can scroll down and change the duration and you could also add a buffer time. And by scrolling down, you could also change the price so you can set it up whether it is a free service, varied price, custom price, and you can add in your price right there. You could also scroll down and select the payment preferences, whether it is entire amount, entire amount in person, entire amount either online or in person, or online deposit, and the rest in person. You can select that. You can also assign different services to different staff members once you have added them right in this section right here. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save. Now that you have edited the different services, it is now time to set up the different payment methods that you would like to offer. To do this, you will select getting paid from the left hand menu option, then tap on connect payment method. And depending on the country you're located in, you'll see different payment options. But one that you can offer, doesn't matter the country you're located in, is PayPal. So you could tap on connect and you could enter in your PayPal information. Once you have done that, you'll close out and tap on set up in the top left hand corner. 
After selecting Setup, you're going to tap on Design Site in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to tap on Pick a Template. After selecting Pick a Template, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, there are different templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down until you see a template of your liking. So let's say, for example sake, we would like to use this template. You can select that one. I'm going to be using this one, for example. So I'll tap on Edit. Then you'll just give it a few seconds while it is being composed in the background. From here, you could tap on the box and enter some information. And the Wix AI would compose content that can be added to your website. But typically, I would just close the pop-up, tap on the plus 50% in the top right-hand corner, and this is how our website looks at the moment. To start editing it, it's quite straightforward. You'll just tap on the section that you like to change. Then you could tap on Quick Edit in the top left-hand corner. You can change the name if you want, so we could change this right here. So let's say I were to change it to, for example, JSON Tutorials. I could type that in right here. And you can also add in your phone number. And you can scroll down and you could also change the vector art if you want. Once you're finished, you could scroll down and continue editing. Just tap on the section once more, then tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. And from there, you can change the background by tapping on change. You can change it to either an image or a video. So let's select image. Then you could tap on upload media in the top left hand corner. Or you could use copyright free images from Wix. So for example sake, I could just type in home, then tap on enter. And all I would need to do is select one of these pictures. Let's say for example, this one, then tap on change background. And you can see that the background has changed. And you can scroll down and you can continue making changes. So I could change the title. I could also change this text if I want for the button. And you could also change the page that it is redirected to. And by the way, talking about page, at the moment, if you would like to view all the pages, you can scroll down and you can see the different pages. And you can also tap right where you see home in the top left hand corner. This is where you will be able to view all of the pages that are currently on your website. So we could tap on contact and you could see how the contact page looks. And by going over to the right hand menu option, you can start editing it so you can start filling in your information. And when it comes on to Wix, as you can see, either their contact page is very professional. So this is perfect for a complete beginner or even an intermediate to create a professional looking website in no time using these templates. And if it is a case that you would like to add an element that you don't see to your website, you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner and then from there you can see the different elements that you can add and it is basically drag and drop that's it when it comes on to your wix website once you're finished you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner but let's say we were to tap on preview keep in mind if you're planning to accept payments using wix otherwise from paypal you'll need to go onto their paid plan but their paid plans are quite affordable compared to other platforms. But once you're not planning to accept payments online, you can use their platform for completely free. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did and you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching.